So this is part two because it arrived. Big box. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to unbox it and see what I got. The fact that it comes all in one box, because I ordered the teleprompter, but I also ordered the case that goes with it. I saved $50 on the case, um, which was okay because it kind of makes up for what I'm going to pay for, or what I did pay for, in sales tax. So, let's see. This looks like it might be the top. I'm going to cut this open. And I'm hoping... And maybe because it's already in its case inside, maybe, that maybe it's already assembled. I did get, as I always do, the PDF of the instructions. So far, it looks like it's all in the case. Okay, I'm going to have to move this down so that I can get this case out. Got a handle on it. That would be nice. So what I wanted to show you is besides the handle here, it's got another handle on the side. It's got the I can name on it. So if I travel with it, people can see that and see this is something worth stealing. Maybe I should put a label on that. Radioactive waste or uh, human waste samples. Something they're not going to want. And then the other thing is, it's got a, a handle over here that you can lift up. Like those luggage pieces that people carry. Because it's got wheels on it. And you can wheel it like through a, a, a terminal, airport terminal. This actually comes up higher, but I'm not going to raise it all the way. I don't need to. What I do want to do is I want to open the box. And by the way, the instructions, which I already have because I downloaded it. I got the PDF so that I could read it in advance and know what I was doing here. This says to not destroy the packaging inside, the rubber cushion that comes in the box. If you were just buying the teleprompter without the case because that padding fits perfectly inside the case if you want the case. All right, now, let's see. This is my first. I gotta figure out how to get this open. It must look like they're just big, tough latches. I don't know. There must be, ooh, okay, I gotta figure that out. Okay, it's not rocket science. There's a little latch underneath it. Lift that up, and it just comes up easily. Little latch. What can I say? See, they didn't have that in the instructions, how to open the latches. Okay. There it is inside. This is the book I've already got. That's the Quick Start Guide and um, Conditions of Warranty Service. This is what my camera would mount on, is this piece here. It's adjustable. Um, and then this bottom plate this attaches to the rail system um, that's going to be inside. Got a little bag here. A little bag of hardware. I recognize these right away. These are the pieces that are, I'm going to secure my tablet to the tablet table. A couple of um, Allen wrench pieces. These little Patty things go on those things. Patty. This is padding to prevent scratching because these are made out of metal. That's a good sign. I thought they might be made out of plastic, but they're not. They're metal. So that's good. Put that aside. Take this piece out. This is more padding that I'm going to save. And then lifting this out already assembled which is nice this piece I recognize this this is the table on which my my um, tablet will fit I have to pull this out see now it wouldn't be these two it would be this one and this one yeah that rocks right out I'll get that tightened up again Get the padding off. 
This was what I was most concerned about. This is the glass. This is the 3070 reflexive, reflective glass. That costs a lot of money to replace if it had arrived broken, but it's so well packed. I'm sure, I felt pretty sure it wasn't going to break. Also in the box comes the hood. This is going to go around my camera lens and there's a couple of drawstrings here to tighten this thing around my camera lens. And this is, this folds out and there's zippers to hold it and it's magnetic. That'll be the hood that'll go around my teleprompter. And then finally, a couple of metal rods on which everything gets assembled. First thing I want to do is prepare the brackets that are going to hold my... would help to cut the bag open first. There should be six of these. Two, four, six. Now there's seven. Interesting. And then there's, now there's eight. Okay, and then there are five of these. Maybe they give you different sizes, knowing you're going to need at least five, but you might need longer or shorter, depending upon how big your tablet is. So, until I figure out which ones I'm going to want to use, I'm not going to put these little rubber things on. So there's the table. Here's my tablet. It's going to go on there about like that. So I know these long ones are going to attach here. Like so. And I know the shortest ones go back here. There's two that go back here. And then one is going to go here. A short one or a long one? I could actually use a short one. Save those for later on. That would do it. Those five would be the right ones, I believe. And hope me, hopefully allow me to adjust my tablet where it needs to be. And if not, I can always use one of these longer ones here. You know what, since I've got the room, I'm gonna use the longer one. One thing I was concerned about is, could I use my tablet with it in its case, just flip it back and fit that on there? And actually, yes, I can set it in there. I mean, these things, aren't supposed to, I suppose, lock it in place for long distance travel, basically just to keep it from being knocked off or to fall off uh, while you're moving it. And then I can move this back up again. I'm gonna set this to start off with at a 45 degree angle roughly, which is where it needs to be. I'll figure the angle out later on. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take this off is have a little more assembly to do. If you have something like this that's set at a 45 degree angle, you could use this. But if you don't have one of those, all you need is a piece of paper. Just fold it over like so. Lining up two adjacent edges. And then that is a 45 degree angle. It comes with these two 12 inch 15 millimeter rods. Yes, 15 millimeters is not 12 inches. They're 12 inches in length and they're 15 millimeters in width. That's supposedly like standard for something or other. Those get inserted in there. They have holes for them. And these thumb screws can be used to tighten those down. Then I can put it this thing on. This is going to have 
mounting holes to mount this on a tripod. I can mount my camera on here. I can take this off and mount my camera on this base here. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not. This is a quick release. I just don't know. I'm not sure about this. I have to test it. Um, I'll know after a few applications whether I want to use this or not. But right now, I'm going to slide this on there. Again, there are holes to go through. Line them up and slide it on. Tighten the thumb screws. And the last thing to do is to put this on a tripod, get it adjusted right as far as this plate is concerned, and then get this angle to about a 45 degree angle. I can tweak it a little bit up or down or whatever I need to do to read my, my tablet the right way. Major discovery. I took this unit off because I don't need it. I've been wanting to do this. My whole idea all along was to use a two tripod system. One for the teleprompter and one for my camera because my camera has a different sort of quick release. I need, I need to be able to get my camera off that tripod, its tripod, to bring it into the back office, my home office, to plug it into my computer to get my video clips off. I don't think the, the quick release on my camera is going to match this piece here so in fact I'm pretty sure that it won't it just does not look right but what I discovered is this piece on the underside it has two threaded holes the smaller one is the right threading for a standard camera tripod mount I can mount this without this on my camera tripod, on my second tripod, a Bogan, which is a really good one. It's, it can hold, it'll actually hold my weight. That's how good that Bogan is. Bought it many, many years ago. I can use this and then I don't have to figure out a way to remount my camera. So there it is, set up on my Bogan. Gonna get my piece of paper on there. See if I can't get that to stay put. And then, let's see. Um, wrong one. Over here. <laughs> there's this one, and then there's this one. Change the angle so it's about a 45 degree angle. They say a 45 degree angle is best. Finally, there's this hood piece that goes on, rather bulky, um, but it uses magnets. So it should be fairly easy to mount. Attach the magnets there. Magnets attach there. And there, that's on the wrong way. I need to get it, this out. There we go. That's in place, that's in place. I guess these flaps are to keep out side lighting. I'm not sure what this bottom flap is for. And then this hood here goes around the camera lens. And then the zippers here on the side, they're kind of difficult to work. But once I get them worked, I'll be able to zip this shut and that'll close out more of the side lighting. I have it all set up. I'm not reading this, but you're looking at me. I'm looking at text on a screen. But as I said, I'm not reading it just yet, but I wanted to mention one thing. Oh, and I wanted to show you. Um, here's a picture that I took with my setup on two tripods, and I actually like it. I like it on two tripods because I can take out the front tripod with the teleprompter on it, when I'm going to be doing a cooking video, I can put that away or set it aside where I won't knock it over. But then I can put it in place when I want to do a vlog, like I'm doing right now. And there was one thing I want to mention. I knew I was going to need it. I bought at Home Depot 
a little carpenter's level. This worked perfectly <laughs> as far as getting everything lined up and balanced and even the way that I want it. So there's my setup for my I can teleprompter. Hopefully I haven't bored you too much. Hopefully I haven't gone on too long. I'm going to finish this video up and then I'm going to start my next actual um, keto vlog. I'm going to do a keto vlog next.